here I introduce our automatic pipe machine, pipe vending machine for you. Here this is a whole machine. And this part is a machine body. This part is a machine body. This is a linear guide. This is an oil pan here. This is an oil from here. This is a, all the machine body. And here are the electrics and the hydraulic valves. And here is the bending height. This can do the bending round like this. This part is a electric. Here we use a Schneider electrics, also Mitsubishi servo driver, servo motor. And here we come to the trolley. The trolley is for position of the pipe. And the trolley you can see here has two servo motors. One is for the feeding. Forward and backward. Backward and forward. And this servo motor is for the correlator rotating, rotating, rotation. Can do this job. And here I want to separate each function. This one is a controller for this machine with a screen, LED screen. And here is a machine tooling. It's a machine tooling here. And this one is a bending tooling. It's up to your radius. Big radius, big tooling. Small radius, small tooling. This is the bending tooling. Bending tooling. And this one, we call it a main clamping. Main clamping. It is for clamping the pipe. Clamping the pipe. And the direction for this machine is like this, moving like this. And this one, we call the guide tooling, guide die, or pressure die, pressure die. Or we can also call it a PGA, PGA. And this one also can clamp in the pipe, clamp in the pipe. From here you can see, you can clamp in the pipe. And this one is a cylinder for moving the PGA forward and backward, forward and backward. Later, we will check one by one. And here also have the tools. Here also have the tools. Also, it's uh, up to your uh, outer diameter of the pipe. Big one, big, big OD, here will be bigger. Small radio, small OD, here will be small. And this one is for support, for the pipe support. If the pipe is very long, we here we need to support the pipe. Okay, here we introduce each tooling. This one we call the main clamping. This direction is the main clamping clamp. Okay, this is the main clamping clamp. And this function is called the main clamping screw. Clamping. Okay, now we can introduce this one. This one we call the pressure bar. Here, also clamping. Here, loose. Here, clamping. Here, loose. Okay, and here, this is the toilet, and this is the toilet. Okay, the toilet is clamped. This is clamped. You can, you can check up here. Clamped. Loose. Clamped. Okay, now we check the uh, 
moving over the body. The body go back. Okay, final. Okay, forward. Continue, final. Okay, forward. Okay, there we come to here. Okay, first we need to start the pump. Okay, now it's a pump on. Okay. And the pump works. Ah, uh, And then we need to uh, make every part go to the origin place. So we need to press the home. This is for the testing, so we're making the speed it's very slow. Okay, to finish. And here we we check each function. It's just a shoulder. This is the main clamping, and this is main clamping loose. And this is a guide clamp, and this is a guide clamp loose. And the clamping, leg, and the bending. Glide loose, main clamp loose, and the bend return. Of course, if you do the bending, and this is the PPA, can do the forward, PDA, PAD return. And then now, we do the bend return. Now, show, show, show. Here we check the collet, the collet material holding. Collet on, collet off. And the trolley, you can check, trolley. Trolley in. Trolley in. We check the rotation. Rotate. Plus. Rotate. Minor. I want here is uh, auto feeding function. Auto feeding is, uh, for example, you want the trolley. The position from here to here, you want the 300. Yeah, you just set 300. Let's come to here to see. For example, here you want the 300. And all the feed it. We will go to the all the feed it. And for the rotation, you can do the all automatic rotation the, the value is like here if you set for example 100 and you do the auto rotation it will move to the 100 you can check here and this is a bending also you can set the the value you want for example we set 180 degree okay and now we do the clamping we do the guide clamp, guide clamp, and then we do the bending. Then we will move to the 180 degree. Okay, let's move this, move this, and bend the return. So this is all the functions in the menu page. Before we using the machine, we need to check each function in the menu page. It's right or not. Okay, after checking this, we can go to the automatic page. Now it's not in the loading position. We can press this foot pedal and it will go to the loading position. For example, here we have a Join like this.
we have a drawing like this. And we have the, the uh, a program 16. We named the 16. Okay, here you can check. The first one is the PDA lens. PDA means this one. PDA lens is this one. Now it's 200 millimeters. But actually, when we set, we should set it a little longer than this lens. We set here 210. So you need to check your own pressure balance. And then set here. Set here. This is the first the PDA lens. The second is the loading position. The loading position, this means from here to here, to the center of here. So, which is up to you. You want the 600, then you here, set 600. You want a 700, here you set a 700. Okay, let's say we set it 500. Okay. And here we set 500. And this is the last bend back. It's uh, only used for some long pipes. This will be explained in the future. And this one is the first bend lens. The first bend lens, for example, here is uh, 700, oh, sorry, 72.5 millimeter. So we here set. 72.5 millimeter and the, the, this one is a collet clamp lens collet means here this is a collet collet lens means from the side to here here this is a 30 millimeter so we check here from here it's a 30 millimeter and here we can set 30 millimeter and for example the pipe is one meter long then here we set one meter Okay, now we go to the, this one is the programming page. Here, this is the first lens, actually we already set here, 70.5. And this lens, this feeding lens, the machine, we are calculated itself. You no need to set. And here, the speed you can set as you want. Usually, for example, we make a 90%, no problem, right? And because the first bending, there is no, uh, no rotate. So here, no need to set. And here, we check the first bending is 90 degree. So here, we set a 90 degree. And uh, this, just choose zero. Here, no need to check, no need to uh, set. And this is a bending die radius. Here, from the center, from the thin center, from here to here is the radius die, the die radius. So you can check your own radius and the set here. Here is for future use, no need to use. And the second, after bending the first bend, and we check the second lens. The second lens here is 202, so here we set 202, and the speed we put like 85%, 85%. Okay, let's, here we can put 85, 80%, for example, 80, 80. And here we need to do the rotary, we, here we need to do the after bending the first one, the second one, we need to rotate. Okay, here we need to set minus 90 degree and speed 25. You can also set, for example, 30 percent. It doesn't matter. And then the second bending is also 
90 degree. So we here put a 90 degree. Here we put a 90 degree. Okay, then we come to the third angle. The third angle, the, the length is uh, 240, 84, for example. Here we set 200, okay, here with 283.9. Okay, and here is the speed. And here is the rotation. And here is the... 225 or 30, no problem. This. And this is the bending angle. It's still 90 degree. And here, 90 degree. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Three angles. So it's finished. And here, it's up to here. We want to introduce this is a manual disable or manual. You need to use manual, then you can choose the manual. If you don't need a manual, then you just choose this. And this is a synchronized clamping or separate clamping. This is a clamping together or clamping separate. This you can choose together, so you can choose this. And this is a direct feed or return feed. Here you can choose direct feed. And here, get the clamp half. Means it's not fully open. It's only open a little bit. A little bit. And here we choose guide clamp half. And this is the extra feed, also the compensation feed. Compensation feed means we need to calculate this length. And now we don't need to calculate. So we use the extra feed. And this is for future, this is for the this one is for the rotary home or for rotary home ohm. This is only for using the uh, square pipe or rectangle pipe or some over pipe for the round pipe we no need to use. So we here we choose off. And after you set in the, this page and you just save. Okay, after save and you go back and we you choose automatic and then this is a 16 and now you can start to bend okay now we insert the part this is the loading position 500 okay here and now we press the foot bend 